and the same same uh, example that you are trying to move from a single bedroom apartment if you have four friends whom you wanted to use to move your move your belongings from your from your source home to the target home there are a number of ways that you can do you can ask a friend saying hey come on get the distinct of it if there are some redundant objects choose the best one out of it and get only that uh, one of the object for example you have 20 running shoes why do you want to get all the running shoes and move here so you will ask him separate it make a distinct of it he will do that and then group by this will be handled by a different person all you are saying is whatever he has separated can you put into a box that is the second person's work so he will be able to handle it very quick because he will do the same group by or if you do if you go and look at MACD, that will be a better example guys go into mcdonald's what you will see is totally totally hilarious only a person who wanted to cut that bread he will be only cutting the bread the second person will be adding a sauce to it the third person will be roasting it on a pan so there is a definite uh, definite definition for each of them definite definition of their work in the same way these are the four different persons that uh, data services use one person will do the distinct of it the second person will do a group by of it the third person will do a joining condition if there is any fourth person will order by which is the final place where they load it into the truck they will order by saying small one come first big one come later or big one come first i load it into your truck and then small one comes later so you are doing an order by so if you check any of these boxes what you are doing is you are you are allotting more resources to it saying run distinct as a separate process after that is completed move it into a different set data set do group by as a distinct process and then join the data finally order with the data and load it into the tool you are instructing you are instructing a database to behave like this so that the performance is faster earlier you don't have this option but anyhow this is not going to change anything in the optimized SQL if you see it is the same SQL but because you have kept it checked these are all, all all options in the advanced tab it is going to increase the performance only if the data qu quantity is high if the volume is high it can do that so uh, i mean uh, let me know if you have any questions here guys okay what does distinct do here is let us go and look into the data since this is the customer dimension table we have populated uh, let us go into the source that is a better place for us because we wanted to see how it was in source and what the distinct we are trying to do so ods customer is the table we are talking about see here your question is what is the distinct that it is going to do here data services for what it is going to do distinct is it will take the distinct of everything here unless you have a new entry for example i can quick and dirty do it here man it is not going to consume too much of time so i am copying i think the copy page should work <laughs> uh i okay i can actually um, one second let me add insert new row uh, i should actually do this let me try again Copy row content and why is it not allowing me to paste? It is uh, doing it in one. No, uh, okay. In general, it has to paste in the same format which I want, uh, but it is not doing. Uh, let me quick and dirty create the same customer here 
then we will see what it is going to do. But if there is already a key on this, it is not going to anyhow accept a duplicate here. The distinct here is, is uh, not the distinct what you are thinking. If the same customer comes up here twice even, it will move the record because you, you haven't mentioned, I mean, you haven't given on what it has to do the distinct. It will do a distinct on everything and get you. So, which means the customer will not be actually identified as a duplicate. That is the intent of telling you that. Here it is one and a zip code. Let us say I have a uh, customer who got the entry twice. So, I am going to commit this. So the row got inserted and now I go back and say so you see this particular customer is repeated here right if I run the same job data services can actually filter this particular customer away it will give you only one of them because I don't think there was a key here, so it, it accepted the same entry again. It did not trouble me. So if you run this particular job again, you will see that he will stay still uh, distinct. So let me rerun the job. But before I rerun, let me see, make sure that I have delete on target. Yeah, I'm going to delete. Mm. Now you will see what is happening. In general, debug mode would have been better for us because debug mode will show you what it will do in every step but you know I am trying to run it but not very sure if it is going to show you there is some warning oh, okay when there is a when there is kind of uh, the advanced uh, options are checked in right it cannot do it cannot uh, debug so we cannot run it in a debug mode so we will run it normally. You should be able to understand comparing between the source data and call, uh, target data. So now this is the source. We have data here and there is one duplicate record. Let us go to the target and see how is our target doing. Uh, we loaded data into customer dim. See, there is no duplicate here. Wow, there is a duplicate here. You see that? Uh, okay, different ID but the same CP. See, when there is a different ID, then he is a distinct customer. This, the customer is the primary key here. So, if you wanted to group but what is it? Uh, in this particular scenario, it is going to generate distinct on the whole row, not the primary key. But what I am trying to tell you is, you are asking a distinct customer by city, then that is a different story. We have to only get those two columns, then only it can make it distinct. Or we can bypass, I will show you other trick. Uh, we will research on why it loaded even the duplicate record that is anyhow uh, will be uh, sorted out easily. Uh, let me take off this advanced so that I can run in the debug mode. In the select I have put a select listing. What is uh, hurting me is it is showing this as key but it may not be the primary key it can be anything like uh, there is an index so let us look at the definition of this particular customer dimension first um, or in ODS it is the ODS customer I can uh, how do I see this um, I don't remember create statement let me see the create statement yeah yeah if you see customer id is primary key but damn <laughs> that is too bad when i inserted duplicate record it accepted that <laughs> without any problems you see here primary key is the customer id 
um, we'll look at it why it inserted. But just to answer your question, if you wanted to write a distinct statement based on what you told, we have to make the query get generated like this. I will show you what the query we have to write there. We'll have to say select cust underscore ID uh, from ODS dot uh, ODS underscore customer group by region. This is the query you have to use for you to make it a distinct customer by region. Okay, you need not put a distinct here because it is already going to group it. Uh, but the one important thing is you can't do a group by like this because customer ID should also be part of that. Uh, okay, let us do a distinct here. Distinct customer ID. You don't need. You don't need a group by here. And we have to put some. Uh, uh, okay, the field name region doesn't exist. Do you remember what was the field name here? Region ID. Where is my query? You know, this is hurting man. When I click on that, my earlier query is gone. Okay, I'll have to rewrite the query. Or uh, let me see if there is an option to copy for me. Okay, at least I have a copy paste option. See, the distinct whatever it generated is at the table level, not at the column level. If we wanted to make it at the column level, we will have to, we can do it, but certainly in a different way. I will show you. So this is the distinct which you are, you are asking about. You want it a distinct customer ID by region. If the same customer uh, is in different region, you want to consider it as a different record. For that, what we will have to do in data services is, 